the test. Um, right now it's throwing three watt per hour energy and out of the 12.55 volts. I'm going to turn on my uh, trolling motor. It's uh, immersed in water now. All right, let's do one. Oh, you can see. 5.6 amps. Two. Quickly rise up to 6.6 .6 amps. I'm gonna have a flood in there, so I'm gonna um, adjust this a little bit. Yeah, you see. Quickly, uh, it rises to 6.6 .6 amps, and I only put um, uh, into the second gear. I didn't even do much yet. Alright, let's do this one more time. 12.48 volts. Uh, that's one. First gear. Ah, see, it's pretty bad. You know, but it's uh, 5.65 amps. 5.6 amps. Two. Wow. Rising up to 8.4. You know? I'm gonna have a flood. Three. Whoa. 10.12. Whoa. 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 11. Five. You know. Anyway, I don't think I want to go all the way because I'm gonna have a flood in here. Anyway, as you can see, the flood is uh, doing pretty badly right now because I uh, my motor pretty much kick out all the water. You know, it's flooding into my uh, fishing gear there. So I'm gonna have to do some. Anyway, I don't think I can continue this Anyway, so as you can see, this little baby is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. You know, went up to uh, 10 volts, 12 volts, you know, only the third gear. Um, you know, so I got to take this one outside. Eh, bummer. Okay, I, um, Finally, uh, submerge the motor. Okay, so I'm going to do it now and uh, take a look. It's 12.51 volts right now, uh, no load. Um, so that's uh, forward one. Right now it's 5.4. Forward two, six amps, 6.2 amps. It dropped the voltage big time from 12.6 uh, to 11.8 now. 6.69 amps. 3, 6.7.48, 8 amps. 8, 8.2 amps. 8.26. 4, 8.2, 8.76, 106 watts. 9.3 amps. 9.3 amps. Fifth. 10.82, 12.7, 12.8, 12.9, 11.48 12.25, So this is um, forward five and it's drawing 12.37 amps. Pretty amazing. So I'm gonna drop it down to, uh, and it's 136 watts. I'm gonna drop it down to uh, zero. Whoops. Okay, here we go. So, um, there you have it. It kick uh, the water out of uh, everything, you know. As you can see, the battery is actually 12.2 volts now. So, um, you know, so it's pretty amazing. This thing, 12.25 volts. All right. It's, um, there you have it. The reason I had, want to do this is, um, so, um, for a Minn Kota, Endura C2, it's 30 pound push. The amperage that um, even at the full speed, which is um, speed of five, one, two, three, four, five, it draws about 12.8 um, amps. 
of um, uh, battery power. You know, so uh, instead of the two point something when there is no load, two two amps when there is no two point eight amps when there is no load. But when you put it into the water, in order to uh, kick it faster and harder, it draws about 12.8 amps in uh, full gear. So um, what I'm going to do, and you can see the amperage draw, actually it's not pretty even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, have these connections um, um, totally fixed, because right now, as you can see, everything is loose. Um, so let me explain the connection here, okay? So when you get the first, uh, piece of instrument, it's pretty good. It um, actually, um, as you can see, it came from China here, okay? It came from China, and um, thanks to this uh, uh, China guy, it's pretty good. The, 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 uh, the, the meter, both the voltage and the current meter, it's working correctly and also the power uh, of how many watts so according to this um, their chart is well again um, I'm doing 12.4 volts but I have a bigger uh, trolling motor which is uh, foot mounted uh, instead of buying these uh, expensive new digital uh, control variable speed trolling motor I want to do I want to use a um, I want to do the uh, my uh, motor guy 70 horse 70 pound push it's a big trolling motor for control. I'm going to have two batteries connected in series. So that gives me 12, uh, instead of 12 volts, it's going to give me 24 volts of uh, battery power. And then um, I'm going to have this PWM, which is the pause width uh, modular. That's going to control the speed um, continuously, meaning in, it, you don't, you won't, I won't get the gear 1, gear 2, gear 3, gear 4, gear 5. I'm going to be able to gear 1.1, gear 1.2, 1.3, and even 1.25, 3.7A, 3.9, 4.7 just by using, uh, doing the style. So that's um, the third video that I'm going to do because um, I just got the parts and it came from China. I ordered it from Amazon uh, and uh, it takes a long time. see here is the uh, that the, they tells me to do which is you connect the DC battery positive to the low which is the trolling motor positive and the next thing you do is you have a line um, that connects to this these there are four um, four uh, slots coming out of this nice little gig and um, the first slot, you got to flip this back, so I'm going to do that in a minute. And the first uh, slot is going to be connected to the positive. And uh, I have this green wire. Um, whoops. As you can see, the connection is that not that well. So I have this green wire that go go goes from the battery positive terminal to all the way to the first slot of this little uh, thing in the back here. Okay? And that's the green wire. You know, so that's the first slot. And the second slot, actually, and, and also the other thing to note is these four slots, it's controlled by this slotted screws. Um, so you can put the wires in here, uh, unscrew the wire, and then stick the um, metal piece of your wire into the hole and then um, tighten it up. So it's pretty good. Um, as, you, as this diagram, uh, it's pretty easy. There is no Chinese reading you have to do, you have to understand um, the Chinese, no. Um, it's pretty easy, just follow this graph and then you will have a, you know, this, um, this gig uh, set up in no time. Um, you know, so, and this is the shunt. Uh, to avoid uh, the shock or whatever, um, you know, much like a fuse. In any case, so that's, that's my setup here, so the green goes to the first